I remember I had a client maybe about 12 years ago. I'll say her name is Angel. That's what I'll say. Um, and that's when we had career development. And back then we were allowed to mandate clients to programs depending upon what their needs were. So we mandated her to go to the career development program because she needed a job. So the career development program that we had back then was a strive model. So it was really like intense. It was in your face and it, 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 it forced people to face whatever it is that they needed to face to, um, change their attitudes and, and to, to, to become, um, work ready. And so I mandated her to the program and she refused to go. And then finally she went one day and Alex Casado, um, who used to be the career development job, he used to be the job de de developer then he, you know, as part of the strive model, he got in her face and I remember her coming back and telling me she was never going back again and that she was going to leave the shelter. And I was like, please don't leave. You know, you don't have anywhere to go. I'm scared of you being in the street. And the next day when I came to work, I got an incident report. I still have that incident report at home. Every time I get stressed with work, I pull it out because it brings me back to why I'm here. And the incident report said, um, you guys can't mandate me to do anything. You think that I have never been forced to do anything. I've been forced to have sex for money for my mother to pay for her drug habit. I've been had forced to prostitute so that my mother could be on drugs. And up to that point, I never knew her story. I never knew it. And so um, she left the shelter and it was heartbreaking to me. But God works. I'm telling you, he works. Because maybe, I want to say last year, I got a Facebook um, inbox and it was from her. And it brings tears to my eyes to think about it because in that, in that post, she said to me, Miss Aisha, this is Angel. And I just want you to know that I'm all right because I know that you cared about me. And all of the things that you tried to impart in me, I wasn't ready to hear them, but I heard them. I have my own child now. I own my own home. I model and I'm okay. I just want you to know that don't give up what you're doing because it works. We may not hear it when you want us to hear it, but we hear you. And over the years, I've had countless stories like that. And that's what gives me the fuel to do what I do.